Hi and welcome to part 7 of this Django crash course. Today we're going to add statuses for the post so we can have drafts and similar and then we're going to fix the search functionality. And I want to remove one of these and replace the other with the about page. So we can begin with that one. So if I open up base.html and find the menu that I can remove one of these and then this one can be replaced with about and then add the href tag here and then just url about and then this one can go to the front page you can just add a slash like that save refresh click the about page and the home page perfect so then the next step is to add statuses to this so if i then find the blog slash models.py file and then the post model First, I want to add choices up here. So you have the active one, active, and then draft. And if it is a draft, I don't want it to show on the front page. Now we set up a tuple so we can choose between these two. Choices, status, let's say active, and then a label which will show in the admin interface, draft. So this is the value that will be uh, stored in the database and this is what you will see in the admin interface. And this is just so we can easily access it from other places and similar. Then below the created it we can say status equals models.char field because I want to store this which is a char or a string at least. Now say max length can be 10 choices equals choices status and default equals active so now this will be a select list in the admin interface and the default one for all articles will be active and this is a constant which points up to this one now we can save and if you don't stop the server and run the make migration script great there I want to see add field to status add field status to post and then we run the migrate script and run server so nothing should have happened here in the front end but if we go back here and find for example the python post then I have now possibility to select between active and draft if I save it like this now maybe also want to show this here the status so it's easy to have access to it so we go to admin.py and then in the post here list display before the category or now we can have it at the end status I also want this to be a filter status now we can refresh and now we can choose between these here perfect and also see the status here nice so you see that this is the draft so this I do not want to show on the front page anymore. Then we need to go and find the views.py in the core app here. And instead of saying post.object, so it's all on the post.object.filter status equals post.active. So now we can use this constant by just referring to the model and say dot active. So if I refresh now, you won't see the post here anymore. Nice. So let's do this other places as well. So in the views.py inside the blog, in the detail page, I want to add this here as well. So status equals post.active. So we can't go directly to a post anymore. And also in the category, we need to get these here in the back end instead of the front end. So posts equals category.posts filter status equals post dot active now we need to make this available here just append it to this list or dictionary and now we just need to change the template for this a little bit because here we loop through them by saying um, category dot post is all and here we can't use the filter so if you now replace this with posts and save 
we now use this variable instead which gets them from the category but here we can use the filter so if I now try to go into a category for example Django these two will show but if I go to Python the category here will not show great but since we don't have any posts here we should show a message about this if I go to category.html at the end of this for loop we can say empty so if this list or dictionary here is empty and we can show a message div class oops content and then here we just say p for paragraph there is no posts in this category and then save refresh and now we see this message nice so then we want to fix the search functionality before i continue i just want to say thanks to my patreons if you too want to support me you will find a link to my patreon in the description below and to do that we can begin with the view for this and i want this to be located in the views.py in the blog app so below the category we can create a new view def search get the request parameter in there and then we want to get the query from the URL. So query or the word you search for equals request.get.get. And then passing query and default is to empty. So this is what you use to get uh, the parameters from the URL. And then below here we can say posts equals post.objects.filter title i contains oops i contains equals query so if the title contains the query this will be listed in here and we say return render request blog slash search dot html and now we can pass in the posts here like that we can also pass in the query so we know what the user searched for like that so then we want a template for this and i think i can copy the category template since much of this will be the same so just copy all of this and I create a new file search.html and paste it in there so now we can replace the title in the browser with search and then above this content where we loop through the posts can add the title and then h1 search results and h3 for a smaller title here we can say query and then we show what the user searched for like that no result for the given query and then we save this so then the next step now is to add this to the url so we can access it and then at the top here is a path search now we give the name views.search which is the view and name is search and we need to add this at the top here since search would match this one so if you added this path here to the bottom it would automatically just go in here since it would match on a slug and then it will give you a 404 error because the category with name search doesn't exist so it needs to be on the top like this so then we can save this and if i now try to go to slash search we see search results query is empty and then the three posts because everything is matches on the empty if i appear say question mark query equals this it will only show two of the posts great and if i say python it will only return one nice and if i search for something like this it will say no results for the given query nice but what if you want to check both the title the intro and the body then we need to use a function from django so at the top here 
above this we say from django.db.models import q and this allows us to search in multiple fields so then down here where we search for this is here we say q like this so now it search for this but so I also forgot to mention that i contains it will now check that this is insensitive for uh, capital and lowercase letters so it just says that if this matches anything inside the title if it's capital or lowercase it doesn't matter but if you also here want to search in the introduction just a uh, pipe here for or and q intro i contains equals query and then the same with the body or q body i contains equals query and save so then i can refresh oops forgot to add the close the parentheses there see i also got the error down here and it was added to the end instead like that so now the error is gone here if i refresh this is better you want to see what's inside one of these you can search for body and then add it at the end here As you can see here it returns all three because all of the body has something with body inside but not the title so now we know that this is working so now i just want to activate this field here so if i go back to base.html and then up here where we had the form you can add it around this one form method is get not post we want to use get here so it's added to the url and then action url search so now this will automatically po uh, point to the search page and then i just wrap all of this inside this form tag save refresh and now i can try to use this python okay that did not work because this input field doesn't have a name so if i just add name query like that refresh and now try to search for python you'll see query python and then it returns this one okay and if i click this i get the 404 error and that is because this should actually not be showing here because of its status which is draft I need to change the views.py a little bit because we can't say just filter like this first we can add a filter here status equals post.active and save so now if I refresh this is also gone and if I just search for empty it will just return these two because both of these are active nice and that was it for this part hope you liked it and if you did please click like below if you want notification when the next part is out you need to subscribe to my channel and remember to click the bell if you have any questions about today's code feel free to leave a comment below see you in the next video